Oh, what a day. Thank God I'm home. Time to get my PS2 on. Wait, I have an idea. All right guys, so as you can tell, my PS2 has a major issue. So today, I'll go through the steps on how to turn your PS2 into a hard drive based console. Let's give our 23 year old friend a new life. Here are the things we'll need. And don't worry, I'll have a link to everything I mentioned in the description below. First, we'll need a free McBoot PS2 memory card. You can either buy one on Amazon for around $18 or just make one off of your old PS2 memory card. And for those of you who don't know how to make one, I'll shoot a future video explaining the exact steps. Second, we'll need a USB to IDE SATA cable. You can find one online relatively cheap for around $27. I got mine from Mr. Bezos. Next, we're gonna need a hard drive. You can either use an old one or buy a new one. It's really up to you. The original hard drive for the PS2 is an IDE, but if you don't have the original, I highly recommend you to buy the SATA one because it's just much cheaper and way easier to find. Also, if you wanna buy an SSD, that's totally fine, but honestly, it is not necessary since the SSD won't read any faster on the PS2. And lastly, we need a PS2 network adapter. If you decide to buy one, make sure to purchase the one with the right port, IDE or SATA. This is the IDE one. It came with the PS2 originally, but I don't recommend it because now it's really hard to find. What I do recommend is the SATA one. You can find this relatively easy, the price around $22, and mine is from GameStar, so I highly recommend checking this out. Total cost of everything you need adds up to around $67, excluding the hard drive, which you can find for around $40 to $60. Now that you have everything, here are the steps. First, plug your hard drive into the PC via USB to IDE SATA cable. Turn on your PC and download WinHip. It's an application that allows users to install PS2 game files on the hard drive. Moreover, they can apply a PDF patch to make bootable images as well. Install and open WinHip as an administrator, otherwise it won't work. Then format your hard drive. Click on select drive and choose the hard drive you need. Click format drive. Hit the application drop-down menu and select 48-bit. Click OK. After that, the hard drive will be formatted successfully. Add games to your hard drive by clicking Add Image. Choose the games you want to transfer. Keep in mind, these are ISO files. Hit Start and the ISO files will start to transfer. Once done, Disconnect your hard drive and install it back onto the PS2. And we're ready to go. It's that simple. I hope this was helpful because I know how frustrating it can to be deprived of your PS2 needs. And don't deprive yourself from my channel by clicking that subscribe button. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.